I posted a video on my Instagram yesterday showing a little quick time lapse of me creating this. And to my surprise, a lot of people were like, how do you do that? Where's the tutorial? Can you show me how to do this? And I was not expecting that reaction because this is a mock-up and I thought a lot of people knew how to use mock-ups by now, but if you aren't familiar with mock-ups, you aren't sure how to use them, in today's video, I'm going to be showing exactly how I created this lovely coffee packaging using a brand identity that I already had created in the past. If you're new here, hello and welcome. My name is Kinsey. I am the brand and web designer behind Kinsey Green Design. And if you're not new, as always, so happy to have you back. So first off, if you aren't familiar with mock-ups at all, they're essentially images of what your client's brand could look like on legit packaging, even though there's not actually a physical copy and there's not actually physical packaging that exists yet. So mock-ups are really helpful when it comes to showcasing what brands can look like in the physical world. And it's also really helpful for just creating super clean visual representations of brands in general. I use Adobe Photoshop to create all of my mockups, and a lot of the mockups I get are sourced from Mockup World, and I will leave a link to that in the description. There's basically a bunch of free mockups on here in all sorts of different categories that you can use for your projects. And sometimes I'll purchase a premium mockup depending on the brand, but I had just found this coffee mock-up here on Mock-Up World and used it for this project in particular. So to get started with creating your mock-up, the first things first, obviously you have to download it. So I downloaded this mock-up here. You'll go into Photoshop, open it up, and you will probably see a bunch of different layers. Now, if you double click on the layers, usually titled mock-up or label or something of that sort, you will be able to open that layer up and see what objects or design elements are sitting on that layer. Once you do that, you'll then be able to see, okay, what does it actually do on the packaging? How does it interact with the packaging when I add an element on this specific piece of the mock-up? This is kind of what I do usually when I download a mock-up. I open up each layer, I play around with the elements and see how they actually interact with the mock-up itself so I know kind of where I wanna place things and how I might want it to look. Another thing you can do is actually check to see what the size of the artboard is that the mock-up is currently on. If you wanna go into Adobe Illustrator, resize your artboard and make it the exact dimensions of the mock-up layers in Photoshop. I didn't do that for this one. I just kind of freehanded it and copied and pasted things from Adobe Illustrator directly into Photoshop on the layers in which I wanted them to appear in the mock-up. You'll see after opening up a layer, pasting something in there, you can then hit X, click the save button and it will appear in the mock-up as you intended it to appear. Now, for this one in particular, it doesn't initially come with stripes on the packaging. So in order to create that effect, I just opened up the layer that involved the actual coffee holder and used the rectangular tool in Photoshop to actually create a block of color in that layer that I then saved and it gave the illusion of the packaging having stripes. Now, if the size of the current artboard your mock-up sitting on isn't a good fit for whatever you intend to use this for, you can easily resize the artboard using the prop tool in Photoshop. When I opened this up, I think it was a landscape style and then I resized it for an iPhone because I was going to post this in my video and then I resized it again for this video. Now when you resize things you may need to go back and adjust the placement of the mock-up to ensure it's in the center and to do that you will simply select all of the layers except for the background. So you can select the first layer above the background, hold shift and click the very top layer that contains everything you need to move. This will allow you to select all of the layers except for the background and using Command T on a Mac, you will be able to shift all of those things around. And it'll give you a little notice saying the effects aren't gonna work while you're moving these things. No big deal, just hit okay. And then you can adjust the placement of everything. And to get this logo in here, I simply went into Adobe Illustrator, used Command C to copy the logo and Command V to paste back into Photoshop as pixels. And then I just kind of adjusted it depending on the size of the frame in Photoshop. And that is pretty much it. 
That's how you create a mock-up to showcase a brand. My first year in college as a designer, I didn't know what mock-ups were for a while. And for some reason, my design professors never told me what they were. So when I found them, I was like mind blown. And it is a total game changer if you've never used them before. It's truly not that hard, especially when there's so many online pre-made mock-up resources that you can utilize. Some of them may be a bit more confusing than others and have much more layers. However, I find it's best to open up the mock-up, play around with the layers, see how things interact with the mock-up itself, and then add in your design elements from there for the best possible result. If you found this video helpful, please do give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.